Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Salmons and this is Greg. Now today I'm going to be teaching you how I make my rum raisin grape nut ice cream. Alright? Now if you're from the Caribbean or from Jamaica, you know that our favorite ice cream flavors would be either rum raisin or grape nut. Alright? Now leave that in the comment section. What's your favorite? Are you team rum raisin or are you team grape nut? Alright? Now I decided to go ahead and make a combination of both and the result was amazing all right so just sit back and relax while i teach you exactly how it's done before we do that just go ahead and subscribe to our channel hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post all right and without further delay let's get started okay guys now i present to you for the first time anywhere in the world first time seeing this recipe on cooking with the salmons this ice cream recipe is a combination of two of the favorite ice cream recipe, I mean, ice cream flavors of Jamaicans and people living in the Caribbean. All right. And those two flavors are rum and raisin and grape nut. And now I'm going to teach you exactly how to combine both and make rum raisin grape nut. All right. So guys, you're seeing this first here before it goes viral. All right. Speaking into being. All right, so without further delay, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how it's done. Now, the ingredients that we're going to be using here, obviously, are raisins, which has been soaked in rum, all right? I have uh, this container of raisin that I keep refilling, but it's soaked in rum. It has been soaking for over a year, all right? So it's really, really strong and has a nice flavor. Now, grape nuts. All right, we have a grape nuts here. If you don't know where to find the grape nuts, you can look in the, in the um, description. I'll leave a link where you could get your grape nuts. All right. And we also have our whipping cream, which is our base, and our vanilla for flavoring. All right. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you exactly how this is done. Okay, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is get our heavy whipping cream whipped. All right. And we're going to be using two cups for this recipe. All right, so that's two cups of heavy whipping cream. Now I'm going to be using my hand mixer. You can use a stand mixer or hand mixer, whichever you choose. But I prefer to use my hand mixer when I'm doing ice cream. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start on low and I'll gradually increase the speed. This should take um, about two and a half minutes or so to get to the right consistency. And I'll show you exactly what it looks like. It's called, you know, getting it to stiff peaks. Um, so in a minute, I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Okay, here you can see that um, the consistency has changed. It's getting a bit thick, all right? But we still have some, some um, just a few more seconds to go before we achieve the right consistency for our ice cream. All right, that's exactly what we're looking for. All right. That's really creamy and it will create a nice consistency for your ice cream. You don't need to go much further than this. It's, um, this is, this is perfect, all right? Okay guys, now the next thing we're gonna be doing is adding our condensed milk. Now, the best thing about making your own ice cream is that you can control the flavor, the taste, and the sweetness level. For this recipe, I will use one entire can of condensed milk. All right. You can choose whether you want to use less. I do not suggest use more, but um, you, you know you can use half and taste, and then use half again and taste, and so I mean, and then use some more and taste. But for me, 
I make this often enough to know that the um the one can is what I prefer. All right. That gives a sweet, rich ice cream um, flavor. All right. So we have our condensed milk added. I'm gonna go ahead now and add our vanilla. It's about two, two teaspoons. All right, I'll just give it a rough mix. All right, now to incorporate everything, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a quick whip again with my hand mixer. All right, and that's good enough. This stage, this would be like um, vanilla soft serve ice cream. All right, it already tastes great, tastes exactly like ice cream, and that would have been a vanilla flavor. Now, what I'm gonna do next is add my grape nut. So I'm gonna be using half cup of grape nut for this recipe, all right? So I'll just pour and mix. All right, so that's our half cup of grape nut. You then mix to incorporate. Make sure that it's evenly distributed throughout the entire mixture. So that's our grape nut, all right? Now I'm gonna add our rum and raisins. Well, our rum raisin, that is. A raisin that has been soaked in rum we're gonna add that to the mix as well. Okay guys, so I've emptied the contents into the, the pan that I'm gonna be placing into, into the freezer, all right? So just, just um, simply empty it into whatever container you'll be using, then go ahead and you know flatten it out as best, best as you can, then cover it with a piece of foil or cling wrap, and just put it in the freezer. You can put it in the freezer for about six hours or so, most times I leave mine overnight so that, you know, I can get the best results. All right. So I'll be back to show you exactly what this looks like. All right. And this is our rum raisin grape nut ice cream. And there you have it. Rum raisin grape nut ice cream made easy. All right. Now, if you've gained any knowledge from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well. Comment, like, and share. It does help our channel to grow. All right? Now, if you do your ice cream another way, go ahead and leave that in the comment section so we could discuss it. If there's any other flavors you'd like for us to try, also go ahead and drop it in the comment section and we'll be sure to get to it. All right? And until next time, walk good, one love, and big up on yourself.